Hi, this is David with Structures. On this house, we have a one-story structure. We have a roof line that's sloping up. Uh, there's a five-foot knee wall about where this wall is underneath this chimney inside. Chimney, underneath this roof inside. And we're gonna walk inside under the garage door. And we see that right where that wall is, we have a beam. And it's running all the way across here. It's a 14 inch high beam with 10 inch joists on each side. Uh, we've got some splits going on up inside there. But most importantly, if you look down here, you can see how this beam is bowed. And it's bowed a little over an inch in the center. Uh, I don't know if we can see. yeah, you can see it there. You can see that bow right here where it's up here, it's down, then it comes back up as it gets back closer to us. Uh, also, we have, if you look at it this way, you can see that there's some, some rotation also where it's not only bowed up and down this way, it's also torquing this direction too. So we have some multiple things going on. The weight load on this side is 16 feet across back there. On this side here, it's only about six feet. So there's a lot more weight on this side that's forcing down with some cracks in it like this and some other stuff, uh, the pulling away, the beams moving that direction. So we're gonna come in George Runkle, the structural engineer, is here now. He's inside calculating. We're going to put laminated beams on this side. We're going to stack them up. We're going to cut back uh, all of these joists along here, re support them all, cut these all back, jack them all up on this side and this beam. We're going to leave the beam, and then we're going to put probably three or four uh, uh, LVLs on this side that are going to be 16 inches deep. So they're going to come down another two inches lower than this beam here. Now we also have one other problem going on in that above this, uh, right where this crack is occurring, and if we come around over here and try to zoom in, you can see how the LVL, the uh, finger joint right there, and there's a crack well, it's not an LVL, it's just a wide lamb beam. Uh, but you can see how that's cracked and actually separating and falling. Uh, right above there, actually this right here, in the middle of this joist here, going back this way, all the way to the wall there, about in the middle of that cabinet right there, there's a wall upstairs, and it'll be on the next video. Uh, but it's not supported by one of the joists. It's in between the two joists, uh, actually over here. It's in between the two joists right here, and it has come down upstairs. So what we're gonna do is take the drywall out all the way across, all the way down to the floor, uh, there, because there's no studs underneath that wall in the wall below it. We're gonna add some two bys, probably three or four in the wall, supporting the wall up there, then we're gonna add floor joists across so that we can support that wall because right now it's bowing upstairs. So that's what we're going to do here is adding the laminated beams and resupporting and jacking up this whole area. We're going to be jacking up in a few minutes. So I'll take another shot of that and right now we're going to go upstairs. I'm going to take video of that and we'll see what it looks like. Okay.